What's up today, folks? Starting to get some more work done in this girl. But um, I was thinking about it. I need to get this thing moved back. So uh, I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. This thing is running really, really good. I got my SS rims up and almost done. Just got to paint uh, just inside over here. Can you see what I'm talking about? Just, just you know. it's not. You're not going to notice it from far away. But if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. So... Uh, but yeah, she's coming together. There's not much hole or a whole lot left. Let me guess. Oh no, she's not too wet. All right, let's get this thing moved back. I'm starting to get my bumper and everything uh, cut up now today. Trying to get the front end finalized on it. And I need to uh, get it moved back. So I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Eh? She runs deadly too. So uh, let's get this on to go. Here we go. She's not too happy. Look at the water. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to find something better than that uh that top for those tanks, those acetylene tanks, because uh I don't think she's doing very well. <laughs> yeah, that was uh that was different. She wasn't running like that there the other day. I'll have to add uh, another clip to the way that she was running there the other the other day. Well, I got a feeling it's probably something to do with all that water. She's definitely dragging something though. She is definitely dragging something. That tire. That tire, I can see the scuffs. What about this one? No, should I drag it that one? It's just this one. Just this one. So you can see all the scuff marks there. The ground, eh? well, I'm probably gonna have to uh, remove the rear brakes off of that, I'd say. Guaranteed. Didn't want to, but I think that's probably something I'm gonna have to do. I gotta get this all swept up now, just move back a little bit. Heat wrap. I said there's probably a lot of water in that heat wrap. Making everything steam. Okay, so now we can get the broom. Alright, now that we gotta move now that we gotta move back a bit. I got the back brakes on this side all took off. So now uh there we go. We're gonna add in some more studs. And uh we're gonna get at the other side then. We'll get this tire done. She's coming to you guys. Coming too, she did a lot of scraping there, and then when she was backing up, that back tire was locked up solid. She's good now, so uh, yeah, get some more studs put into it and uh, move on to the next side. Well, guys, we're getting somewhere today. Front bumper has been cut down, that's done. Like I said, I'm not gonna bother to peel it over and weld it, uh, I'm not even gonna bother with that. This uh, thread of rod is welded down, same with this side, so the thread of rod is done. I will be getting rid of that washer bottle, don't worry. The bolts are stripped out. I haven't really wanted to mess with it yet, but it's come. It's, it's gonna come out. SS rims are pretty much done, just needs to get a little bit of paint in there, just to get rid of that blue. Um, 
brakes on the back on this side have been removed because these this was the one that was jammed it up so i left the other side alone no point to remove it if it works and i know people are going to say yeah they probably dragged the tires but whatever i'm not too worried about it it's looking good all right guys we had a massive productive day on this car the uh, <coughs> excuse me front bumper has been finally cut down I think it looks decent. Hopefully we don't get hooked in nice. Nah, no chance that thing we will. Um, brakes on the passenger side back here have been fixed. They're freed up. They're good to go. They're fine. Uh, caliper, or sorry, road around this side has completely blown apart. Let's see if I can get you guys a shot. And so you know some time boot. Um, all right, so yeah, yeah, there you go. You notice how like, there you go. He's, uh, and he winds right back here. So yeah, no break on this side. I'm going to try to make everything work with the odds and ends that I got to get this side working because, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I got the caliper pinned up right now. But the rotor almost seems like it's a little bit too close to the bracket and when I put it all in there, it just is all seized together. So I'm going to see if I can get it out, pound it out a bit further. Might have to get new rotors for this all together yet, boys. And the brake on this side has been completely torn apart. It's uh, it's all missing in there. It's all gone. So she moves freely, which is great. That's a good bonus. We can get the brakes fixed. That's not a big deal. Um, we got this. Rod welded into place. That's all fine. Like I said, wash and bottle. I'll get that taken out after. I'm not too worried about that. Windshield is really the last thing now to come out. Um, fuel cell mount. He's not bolted down, but he is in place the way I wanted to go. I'm just trying to think of something now to put over this that I could bolt down to the threaded rod and keep the fuel cell into place. Um, Still gotta blow a hole through that so I can mount that. That's no big deal. Um, but yeah, like I said, I gotta find a way, some kind of strapping or something that I can, you know, put a couple holes through that I can bolt it down as tight as I can get it. Um, a fuel pump mount, that still needs to be bolted down up from up and under, but that's a couple minutes work. Um, battery, uh, ba uh, battery box, that's done. That's bolting into place, that's not moving. I got my second battery. I just got to uh, join them in series, which that would be fine. And yeah, other than that, guys, she runs wicked. As you guys seen from the clips that I added earlier, um, I gotta get my front, uh, or my uh, top motor mount complete. Um, I have to get these taken out, which as you can tell, stripped. So they need to be taken out so I can put some seat belts in there. Other than that, guys, other than paint, brakes, and a windshield, we're done. We're done. We're going to get some extra padding and stuff. That's no big deal. And I think I might actually throw the uh, passenger seat back into it just for the... Just so when we get over to Gillum, the missus can come for a ride the first time in a derby car. Rather have her sit on the uh, seat instead of just the raw floor because, it's you know, it's pretty bumpy. But she's coming to you guys. That's the end of this now for today. I'm going to get this all closed up. And uh, go inside, get some supper. And uh, yeah, that'll be it now for the night, I would imagine. Next is uh, getting these brakes working, at least another one. I do have that one back there, but if I could get one more working, especially up here, that would be great. If I can't, I'll bait it all off, and then we'll just have the one brake on the back. That's whatever. But anyways, guys, have a good one. Keep building, stay safe. And uh, June, June 25th is coming pretty quick. We're here in the middle of April, or uh, sorry, middle of May now, and uh, time is dropping pretty fast. So, uh... Let's get those cars built, guys. Have a good one.